Hi everyone. So today we are going to see one interesting topic in success factors that is how to create one custom MDF object and after creating that custom MDF object assign it with a custom UI and then assign that custom UI to one of the employees view so that we can find that custom object within one employee that means integrating one custom object with employees view so let's go and do that uh, for explaining success factor instance I have just picked up one example of one employee Mark Burke as you see in this employees in people profile uh, first let me tell you what is people profile people people what is people profile people profile is nothing but the latest fury based UI where we can see employees personal information employment information and different kinds of information and if as you can see in this example for employee mark Purke, there are different uh, information are populated in different sections personal information then payroll information then employee information and within these uh, different different sections we can see different different tiles are enabled and these tiles are basically holding the information for that particular employee so today we are going to create one kind of custom tile within here we can after creating we can see our custom tile in this list and within that custom uh, section we are going to enable our custom MDF object which we are going to create so let's start that first we need to create a custom MDF object so let's go to configure object definition here in create new select object definition so our example is is to create employees experience tracker previous experience tracker in employees view so just create one custom MDF object called experience tracker so let's select the effective data image basic because it should be an independent object parent object not in child one so api visibility we are setting as read only sorry read only uh, status should be active mdf history you are keeping it as complete history so that we can get the full log of this particular object if we want to make any changes there and level keeping cost experience tracker love and description experience tracker of employee API version sub version we are keeping v1.1 subject user this use field is playing a vital role here actually when we are going to integrate some custom MDF object with some employee then subject user field is playing a vital role so what kind of role is that we will explain later in progress of this video so first the field name we are choosing here first field name we can see the uh, database field name means technical id is external code we are putting the name as user and data type we are setting as user second field external uh, name we are keeping as it is start date keeping as it is and let's put some custom fields also here what are the fields first field we are choosing as total total experience uh, length putting 255 and data types data type putting as number and length putting as 10 okay and second field previous company one length putting 255 and data type putting a string second also previous company 2 length 255 data type string 
next previous company three data type 250 uh, length 255 data type string so that is our simple custom mdf object we have created and saving it now so after custom object definition is saved we need to assign that in custom ui so let's create one custom ui first let's open a new window here we can create some more custom mdf screen uh, ui so first put some id experience tracker experience tracker and base object should be experience tracker which we just created cost experience tracker uh, first field so these are the fields which are going to be populated here let's create some group as well when i click the add group option you can see one group is created with label as title and one input field so i'm going to change the title first go to edit properties change the name of companies and change the title title type is defined companies and I'm going to group these fields my previous companies just drag drag it and drag it down here in this group in this way so here input field is not required so I'm deleting this so our grouping is ready now let's uh, save this now we have to enable uh, assign this mdf id to our people profile block so let's create one custom section for that for that we need to open a new window people profile here we can configure our people profile employee view so you can see within the sections there are blocks are defined and in these blocks we can drag our uh, required uh, information or required object and drag it off there in this way so we need to assign our custom mdf object into people profile bo mm, blocks for that we need to create one custom section for our own let's go down there is one option called add new section we are going to add new section here when i just click add new section new section is created as you see with the blocks so let's name the block uh, section as my experience tracker you can apply in different languages by clicking this icon uh, you can maintain in different languages if you want as per requirement so here the block title also need to be added so i'm putting the same name experience tracker so now our block title and section title is ready we need to plug the blo blocks to put the blocks double click here uh, just single click here and go to down into custom blocks within custom blocks you can find live profile mdf information so just drag it to here when you drag it here you can see one the mdf screen id drop down is appearing so just drop it down and search our custom screen we have created experience tracker so it is selected now now one point regarding that subject user subject user field so one point need to be noted here if you don't maintain user first field means external code here as subject user in your drop down of 
MDF screen you cannot find your custom screen so one point just need to be noted when you are going to assign your custom MDF object to some employees view you need to put subject user field as your external code so the name can be different you can put any name XYZ ABC a worker user employee external code whatever it is but put the put exactly same name here as a subject user. so that is uh, now saving our configuration for people profile So this configuration is saved now. After saving this, we need to assign proper permission rule for this newly created employee view. So how to do that? Let's go to permission rule, manage permission rule. So our employee is having the permission role called admin uh, system admin so I'm going to system admin permission role here system admin permission role go to permission go to employee view employee views so here all views which views you want to enable you just need to take that so our view name is my experience tracker just enable that done save changes so till now we have created one custom mdf object assign that custom mdf object to custom UI and then assign that custom UI to one custom section we have created in the employee views we have created one employee view and assign our custom MDF UI into that and we also enable our permission role record permission role for that now it's time for testing let's go to one employee uh, mark bouquet just refresh Pushing the page landed now. Now let's check. Yes, our custom uh, section is populating within that custom section. Our custom block is also populating there. Let's click on that. Yes, custom experience tracker. The custom MDF object we have created. It is showing here. You can maintain their data here. So just some mark experience total experience within 10 years first company ABC second company XYZ third company PQR and save the details yes it is populating here as well all things are populating along with the groupings so this is how we can populate our one custom MDF object into one employees view so hope you enjoyed my video just keep watching keep sharing keep posting comments and don't forget to subscribe that is most important thank you thank you guys bye bye